Hi guys, happy Tuesday. We got Burger King for lunch today. Papa Bear got the new um, Philly, Philly melt, Philly yeah. cheesesteak melt, something like that. Philly melt. Yeah. Philly melt. Yeah. Right Ooh, look at the onions and the peppers and the cheese. There's a lot of cheese. And I just got the classic melt because I've never tried it before. I guess they had this before and then it came back, but I think you said that one's new. Mm -hmm. And then for my onions and onions, my fries and onion rings, I got the half seas. So you can get like half fries and half onion rings. All right, guys, let's give this a try. So it's kind of like a sourdough jack in a way. It kind of looks like it. No this is sourdough bread. Yeah, with no bacon. It tastes very similar to a sourdough jack. Mm. I like it. Try mine before you get full. Want to try mine? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. There you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. And then they also have a the Royal Crispy Wrap. Oh yeah. Philly. Philly style? Mm hmm With the chicken butt, like the Swiss cheese and the mm hmm I just fed Sebastian. He just had meat for the first time. Ground turkey. I seasoned it with um garlic powder, onion powder, and cumin. And then he had some leftover pasta from last night, so I mixed it together and he loved it. He ate a lot. You want any of your ranch? I'm okay. I'm okay. And now he's having some mandarin oranges. His first time trying the mandarin oranges as well. The first bite, he spit that out. He was like, what is this? But now he seems to like it. with that mm -hmm. it's good with zesty and it's got grilled onions right mm -hmm. yeah right here you can't really see it but yeah right there mm. diet then there's a new dessert what Cele is it again celebrating 70 years in business burger game so, you know the Hershey's pie, but birthday pie. Is that what they call it? Birthday pie? It's basically a cookie cookie crumble crust with birthday pie filling and like cake crumble on top with sprinkles. Wow. <laughs> oh, on top is cake crumbles. That's what that is. That's nuts. Sebastian's favorite fruit is honeydew. So we always have to make sure we have honeydew. And I put it inside the pacifier, the fruit. It's like a fruit pacifier. So that way he just gnaws on it. But he gets it. He eats it. It comes through the holes. He knows how to pull it off. Yeah. Right? Like, he uses his mouth to pull it out because yeah. it has all those holes. Oh, yeah, honeydew boy on too. Oh, I think he's trying to go poop. <laughs> I think he's pooping right now. Mm. I need to bring this back every time they bring out the Philly or the milk. Yeah. I don't think I tried this before, but no, right? We've had it, but you got like a whopper. Oh, okay. He's going at it. I usually make sourdough bread every Monday, but since we were 
on vacation. I'm making it today and I'm making um, cinnamon raisin. You know what's good to me when I when I um, want to take another bite. I don't want to just take the last bite with one bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I bit it again. <laughs> you can make it into like three more bites. Just take small bites. Because usually I'm just like one bite, like I'm done. But I'm like, no, I'm gonna take another bite. <laughs> yeah. This has a sauce on it. It's kind of sweet. Mm. It reminds me of like Thousand Island, but. A little sweeter. I'm not sure what the sauce is. It's probably something like that. We ate a lot of good food this past weekend for Mother's Day weekend. So, I guess today is a continuation. <laughs> Diet starts tomorrow again, guys. I'm gonna go sugar free again because I kind of fell off the sugar free. Well, I technically did it just for Lent, but then I kept going, you know? So we're gonna start that up again. Sugar and low carb. And low carb and calorie counting. I did lose 20 pounds. That's really good. I'm cutting I out did the meet, sugar. I met my goal. Hmm? I'm cutting out the sugar and stuff. Yeah, I'm cutting out the sugar and like counting calories. <sighs> and wedding dress shopping starts this weekend. I'm super excited. I'm very excited for that. You could just tell me you said yes to the dress and not what dress. Of course, I'm not going to show you. The <laughs> thing is, even though I find a dress that I like, I'm not going to say yes yet because I have, I'm going to three different bridal shops. So we're going to David's Bridal this Saturday. And then next Saturday, we're doing like a, we're going to a small bridal, like a boutique just here where we live. And then on June 8th, we're going to, where is it at again? Tarzana. Tarzana, which is kind of far, it's 100 miles away, but they are a plus size bridal mm -hmm. shop, so they only have plus size, they specialize in plus size. Okay, so I want to wait till I get to that shop until I go to that shop to make my decision because I feel like they're going to have the most options for me, you know? But they're so booked, they were booked up like for weeks. I couldn't, that was the earliest I could um, get an appointment. Or I think they had availability on the first, but we're going to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. So we're going to wait until I go, until I have all three of my appointments and then we'll decide. I'll probably do a second, second appointment. It's crazy what you were telling me about how like people keep coming back. They're going to start. Charging. Oh yeah. <laughs> that one boutique, it's called Della Curve, I think, in Tarzana. So it's a it's free to have your appointment, but they said after if it's your third time, they'll charge you two hundred and fifty. <laughs> they can't make and you up kind your of, mind you, fee. You kind of are wasting their time, I guess. The indecisive fee. So, yep. And I am gonna share like the dresses with you guys, the ones that I don't pick. Okay, so the one I pick, obviously, the one I think I'm gonna pick, I'm not gonna show you guys. So I'm excited. <laughs>